Welcome to Dope Deconstruction, the show where we analyze pop culture with some dope ass people. I'm Sam. I'm Shanika. And we realize that we are naked. Very Allow naked. us to explain. Today we're hanging out with Angela Renee Roberts. She is a world renowned body painter, special effects artist, and model. Today our bodies are going to be her literal canvas as we delve deeper into her life. Some people, your face may look familiar. You had uh -huh. a giant billboard in Times Square. Yes. Can you tell us about that and what it was for? Oh, yes. The billboard was for the first season of Skin Wars. What different kinds of like, body painting do you do? Like, I um, love doing special effects like zombies and such um, tributes um, to people. My all-time favorite kind of body painting is when I do a tribute to someone that um, the model likes. Mm -hmm. Like you have <laughs> John Rice. Yes, and then you. Nanny of the Maroon. Yes, so I, I love doing stuff like that because I love when the model is very excited to have someone that they really do truly care about. So being an artist, you kind of have like this special connection to the models that you're painting. Yes. And the way you see it is that the human body is not like just like a sexualized body, but it's actually a canvas, canvas. for you to work on. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, yes. Okay. I grew up in a Catholic um, religion where nudity was pretty much um, a bad thing. Mm -hmm. um, but when I modeled a body paint, I felt, I felt amazing. And it's, it's interesting because people come by and first talk about their flaws and stuff and worried about modeling a body paint. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is that for me, flaws is just part of the art. Like I have to work with many different body types. Mm -hmm. I have to have unique canvas. So um, I need your flaws to create certain looks. Like these body paints are made for your body. Nobody else can wear it. When it comes to defending nudity, you're actually extremely active. Can you tell us about the nude art walk? There's a friend of mine, her name is Nicole Touchette. Um, she has a gallery in Lafayette, Louisiana. Her landlord tried to get her to cover up her artwork. She had this beautiful nude artwork and she ended up losing her gallery. Me and my friend Brittany Pelican, we got together and we did a nude art walk. People were a little nervous about um, doing full nude um, body paints, but cops saw us and everything, thought it was great, you know, and it's like they left us alone. And now we do body paints there all the time and people just really respect the art form and just respect bodies and are starting to respect each other. Earlier off camera, you mentioned that on Skin Wars, even though you had a great time on the show, there were some things that you hadn't really shared. Okay, well, before the filming of Skin Wars, I traveled to California to receive my award for Raw Natural Born Artist make in the makeup category. When I got home, my place, uh, someone broke into our, our studio and um, stole quite a bit of our equipment. And because of the robbery, I became homeless. And uh, so by the time I came home from Skin Wars, I didn't have a home. And when I mentioned about um, my, my autism, well, I said learning disability there, I really don't want people to look at me as an autistic artist. You know, I, yeah, I have it, but I am, I'm highly functioning. I, at the, in the past, I used to struggle a little bit socially, especially um, in skin wars. I've learned so much from that, and really, it doesn't matter if you're autistic, you have a learning disability, you're homeless, or, or whatever, like, you can really accomplish anything if you really do put your heart into it. That's it for Dope Deconstruction. I am Shiva. I'm Sam. And I'm Angela. And you can find out where to follow her in the links below. See you next time! Black and sexy, baby.